thanks for joining me. My name is Max Dean, and um, today I'm going to be removing the paint off of this exterior door here. <laughs> I know. We're going to use good old citrus strip, paintbrush, and a plastic scraper with a nice whip whistle. So uh, let's do this. Let's get the paint off this fucking door, huh? Yeah. Okay, something real quick I wanted to show you. When removing the lower lock, you have to use a screwdriver to pull the plate off. But then to pull the plate completely off to reach the screws, you have to remove the knob, okay? So, on the side here is a little hole. And you line up that hole, and you get a paper clip or something. I got a toothpick. You jab the paper clip into the hole. You jab the paper clip into the hole, and it releases the bolt. And then you can remove the plate. Now you can easily access, access the screws. Sorry. New team. Um, we're at the part of our show where we got to watch paint dry. No, it's got to sit for like 30, 45 minutes. I'm going to read the directions again and make sure for what we're doing, how long it's going to have to sit. But I can already see it's starting to bubble up. This stuff is uh, good and it smells citrusy. It don't smell like chemicals, you know what I mean? So it's a good, it, it might be a good product for you. I moved out here into the garage so that way uh, there's air ventilating they have a door open behind me of course the garage door is open on the other side here and um we're just gonna let it do its thing in the meantime i'm not gonna subject you guys to just watching that so i'm gonna go put on um something we'll go watch justin hawkins from the darkness which is so good guys if you haven't checked out his little uh youtube channel definitely do it he goes on there and talks about different uh, artists and critiques their um, music, not in a bad way. It always ends up great and funny and complimentary. So check him out. The lead singer from The Darkness, Justin Hawkins. He was at the tribute show for Taylor Hawkins. That's right, he sang with um, Van Halen stuff. And he also came out and sang a chorus with um, ACDC, Brian Johnson. So Justin Hawkins. I believe in a thing called love. I'm bumping it in my heart. You know. Of course you do. Okay. So we're going to let this do its thing and uh, I'll tell you when it's ready. About an hour. I've used almost the entire amount of citrus strip. As you can see, look, there's a little layer in the back. You know, a little bit left in there. Regular paintbrush. And um, this is what it looks like. I'll give it to you from this angle, it's better. See how it's all scabbing up, peeling up, all wrinkly and nasty? And that means that it's working well and that the uh, paint should come off with the uh, scraper relatively easy. There's one spot here that's not as bubbly, right here in the center of the door, that's not as bubbly as the rest. But I think it's pretty much uh, ready to go. Another, another little spot here. But in real time, real life, you can, uh, you can see that it's, it's pretty good to go. So what I think I'm gonna do is go ahead and uh, get myself ready. I didn't do this earlier, guys, because I'm out here in a garage with lots of fresh air. But you should uh, maybe put on a mask and wear some gloves when you apply this stuff, make sure you're definitely in a ventilated area, just in case. 
you're not trying to do this in the bathroom or anything, you know. So let's get to scraping and see how it looks. You got to dispose of this stuff properly. It is chemical, you know what I mean? You want to um, scrape it off, put it into a bucket or into a box or a, a, a nice proper thick plastic bag, something, and then uh, dispose of it properly. Okay, so you're not uh, killing any of the, your yard or wherever you try to throw it. Maybe animals get into it because it smells like citrus. You don't want to do that, okay? I think citrus is a, a de deterrent for animals and pests, but just in case, you don't want to do that. Just dispose of it in the proper manner, all right, guys? Let's get to time lapsing. Okay, as you can see, it's coming up very, very easily. The base coat, I guess this here, is the primer that they use because um, it's not coming up at all. I mean, a couple of spots right here where it uh, really bled in is uh, coming up. But I think that the paste, or the uh, layer I'm taking off right now is the uh, painted black coat over this black primer and this is a metal door so um, i'll still need to do some sanding and what have you some touching up with the sander and all that to uh, re really clean it up really good but um, as you can see it's coming up wonderfully and this stuff works so well I'm really, really surprised at how well it does work. I mean, I don't know why I'm so surprised, but it's working really, really good. This is like super satisfying. Look at that. Let's do it from the other side now. Let's see. Oh yeah. Oh, guys, this is incredible. On this end, you can see a little bit better. This is the top of the door. So I guess this is, uh, it might be a primer. It might be a, the original coat of paint from the factory that they put on it, this black coat that's underneath all this. But uh, regardless, it's pretty tough stuff. I don't have enough to put another coat to get this other black layer off, but um, I may do that tomorrow before I what is this? I'm gonna get this thing off. I think it's screwed on somehow. But either way, yeah, check it out. Right on. I'm definitely gonna have to do some cleaning up. It says, guys, that once you get it all removed and you have this little debris stuff, you know, the there we go, some more of the, yeah, I guess this other black coat will be able to come off because you can see it is coming up. So I'll probably end up doing another coat on this tomorrow when I have more. I'm going to have to go purchase some more. But man, this is super satisfying. Look at that. That comes right up. Just like it was supposed to do. So what I'll do is I'll, uh, I'll clean it up as best I can, get all the little squirrely stuff off of there. Um, I'm gonna use a scotch Bright pad and some more of this leftover. I'm glad there's a little bit left over because it's gonna help me when I go to do the cleanup. Get as much off as I can, and then once I get uh, all that off, then I'll uh, use a old towel or some rags or something, get it all real clean and dried up and then I'll reattach it to the door, put the hardware back on it, and then tomorrow we'll do the same process over again and maybe get this other layer off. I just have an old box with this bag in it. And I'm gonna put this on in here for now. And then I will this in a better, thicker bag, 
and then dispose of it all properly. And you might want to look up how or where to dispose of this sort of thing in your area the proper way without hurting the environment or anybody, living creatures at all. Okay? Thank you.